Hi, um, as I said, I was going to do a video based on the vintage fair that we went to this weekend. Um, it was at Spitalfields Market in London. Um, I'm sure probably quite a lot of you have gone to it before. Um, and it was Judy's Affordable Vintage Fair that we went to. Um, it was probably the best vintage fair I've been to so far. Um, it was it really it really was affordable to be honest there were some amazing things there like there was this amazing dress there it was like this purple 70s maxi dress that was 65 pounds which i could have bought but i can be a little bit greedy with my money and try to get as much as possible for the least amount um not always the best way to do things because sometimes it does fall apart if you ever go to primark things last about three months but luckily with vintage stuff you know that it will last because it's managed to last, well, the last 30 or 40 years. Um, one of the things I bought there, well, the, actually the only thing I bought there in the end was this dress. It was um, £35. I don't know if you can see that. If I stand back a little bit, because the last video that everything was really up close to the camera like this. Um, <laughs> here's the dress. Um, it's like a kind of um, maroony, well, it's not, it's not really burgundy, it's more kind of like a maroon sort of pinky red. Um, with like a cream bit down the middle as you can see and the belt as well um, it doesn't actually say who it's by again um, it is a lovely dress it, it is quite sort of um, Star Trek-y <laughs> I don't know if you like that I don't um, but I do like the dress anyway so that's what I got there um, and that fitted really really well um, and we, we picked up quite a few flyers as well. Then we went on to um, Portobello Road, which um, if you haven't been there, then you need to go there. Um, quite a bit more expensive, especially clothes-wise. You're looking at sort of £100 plus for the good shops. Um, a lot of other stuff there, it's, I'll be honest, it wasn't that great and um, still quite overpriced. Um, one of the things I did get there though, um, which I was really happy with, was um, this original Doors album, which is brilliant. Um, Waiting for the Sun is the name of the album, which interestingly enough is the only song on the album it doesn't have on it. Um, I don't know if you can see the back. Um, and that is one of my favourite songs, so I didn't actually check it before I bought it, because I assumed it was on there. But when we listened to it yesterday, it wasn't on there, so um, I was a bit surprised, but I'm not really sure why. Anyway, that's the inside of it, and it is in absolute mint condition, and the record is as well, so I was really happy with that. But that cost, that, that should have been about £40. We managed to get that down to about 20 25 30 not sure because we bought two for 50 so um the other one cost 35 so i'm guessing like this was like 15 20 i don't know <laughs> so there's that as well um one thing i did mention in my last video was that there was stuff that was going to go up onto the shop that i bought in paris um i did think afterwards why didn't i actually show you what i got instead of just describing it so i brought that in here with me as well to show you um as i said like both of them are vintage um french pieces um so i'll get them out for you now um oh hmm. okay the first one is this top which oops it's all undone i tried on the other day but it was far too big for me there we go how bright is that? <laughs> it's a really psychedelic top. Um, I suppose it's, I mean, it's a, it's quite, it's quite roomy. I suppose it's, it could be a size 16 or 18, but then I don't know if it would be too short. So I guess you could wear it as a smock with a pair of skinny jeans if you're an eight or a 10 or a 12. Um, it's got this really nice sort of pussy bow on the front of it. It's really nice and it zips up at the back and it's got a clip here. Um, does up like that which a lot of vintage stuff does actually a lot of dresses and tops but especially dresses that dress does as well so there's that um obviously you're not going to get missed in that so that's one of them the other dress well i've got a dress as well 
And that's here. You can see the pattern's lovely on it anyway. Um, this is about a size 16, I think. It could be an 18 actually, it might be a little bit big for a 16. But you can see that it's a really nice sort of 60s shift dress. So it would look something like that on. Um, it's quite an oriental print actually. But it's really, really nice. Um, so that's one to look out for as well. Also, just as a bit of an update, I have just ordered 30 dresses. Um, so I haven't got them yet, so I don't actually know what they're going to look like. But hopefully they're going to be really nice. Um, I can put them up if, if they, you know, if, if they need a bit of repair work, then obviously I'll do my best. But they'll they'll be um, they'll be up as a, at a good price anyway. Um, and then I'm looking into getting a big um, batch of stuff as well, which will be menswear as well, and there'll be shoes and um, scarves and jackets and dresses and shirts and everything that you can think of really. Um, so. We do want to span out a little bit as far as the stock's concerned. Um, it's, it's difficult just depending on finding places here and there. So now we're looking into buying a large amount and actually fishing through it and trying to find the best pieces in there really. So it's, it's still going to be hand-picked but it's going to be a larger quantity that's actually um, coming in at. So um, that's that's really everything that that's what we did this weekend um the blog's going to be updated soon as well um there were a couple of new entries on there last week i don't know if you've read any of them but they're up as well um and i suppose that's it really um because everything did end on ebay last week nothing's been put back, back up yet um, but those two things, the, the dress and the, the top are going to go up and then the rest of the stuff that didn't sell, as I said in my last video, that's going to go up as well. Um, so sorry it's been a bit of a short one, but nothing new to report as of yet. But thank you very much for listening. Thanks. Bye.